Hello again everybody, this is Steven from Steven Photography. So, my last video I did, kinda all messed up here, was this, this Kiriakin bag. And I said I would do a, a video on how I strap it down. So, instead of just telling you, I thought I'd just show you real quick. So, let's see if I can get this anywhere where I need it. Last video I showed you, all the straps that I showed you in the last video. If you guys check out my last video, I showed you all the straps and stuff that it comes with. But if you remember, I showed you these straps right here that that kind of a uh, well, they're kind of like a a strap that you would tie down the motorcycle with in a way a little bit, I guess. And that just kind of run the strap through there like that, and then it's tight. And these things won't go anywhere. So. Um, there are these buckles right here, these buckles here, and these buckles right here. So the ones that I use, I'm only going to use four of these straps. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to run it through this right here. I'm going to run it down to my luggage rack, right down here. Oh, one-handed is easy, isn't it? Right through there. And then I'm going to come back up through that buckle. And I got a twisty, easy fix. Thought it was an easy fix. Do it right the first time, you don't have to worry about this. Easy fix if you just take your time. I'm gonna put it through here. Just like that. Now if I can do it one-handed. cinch that down you can see it I'm pulling down that whole bag as I do it and these will not get loose they will not get loose on you you can almost strap that whole thing down with just this one so then it has these velcro covers on it like that and you can just wind the strap up into there The excess strap, I should say, I guess. So there's that. Kind of like that when you're, yeah, man, the light in here. Not good, is it? Not my flashlight either. So there's that. So, do that on both sides. Right here, you can see that it kind of sits funny on my luggage rack. Like I said on the last video, it was going to sit funny. But it's still cheaper than a tour pack. So, on this one, back here, I got one of these clips. A little close. One of these clips that have the buckle on it. And one of these straps. I have the other side of the buckle on it. And it has just a strap here that you just kind of run it through there like that so this I'm going to put this buckle right here just like that I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna go down here to these I'm gonna run this is so hard trying to hurry because I got supper in the oven uh, like that I'm gonna pull this through 
like this. Ah, I'm not even got you in there, do I? I'm gonna pull that through there. The lighting in here, man. I'll get some better lighting, I promise. Like and subscribe to the channel for later videos with more lighting. Just like that, if you can see it. Pull that through. Pull it tight. Like that. Now I run it through here and then... <laughs> eh. I run it through that one. Like that. You can't even see it. Trust me, so I, it'll pull down that way. Here's one, Pete's. You want to become a YouTuber, but you don't want to spend the money on all the stuff you need to get. All right. So then, clip it into the belt like that. Pull it tight. And the excess. Okay, so then the excess. I just pull through here. Like that. I just run a knot through it. Much like you do when you're strapping down a motorcycle or a dirt bike or something like that. through and it's tight probably won't show you the other side just because I'm having major malfunction difficulties here it's all ready see the rest of the bike moving with it my garage is a mess I'm sorry here goes the rest of the strap the whole bikes moving already with it I mean it's not gonna go anywhere so that's how it, well I don't want to make a 20 minute video so that's how it straps down that's how it looks on the bike take my word for it anyway so another thing I wanted to show you quick while I got you here let me take you out of this if I can do it without shutting the phone off all right This is obviously the Road King, but this mount right here, if I can get you in there and focus in on that, Zero 3D, their mount. This mount holds my iPhone 8 Plus in an OtterBox Defender case. Now I'm filming this with my iPhone 8 Plus, so I can't really show you that. But you put the phone in, and then it's just a simple little to tie it down. Not joking. I wish I had my wife's phone out here to do that. You tighten it up with this, or loosen it up with this, until you have it where you want it. And then if I get you close enough, you can see when you flip this down, it cinches together. Now this is the one that actually has a plug-in and a USB port. If you can kind of see that, the plug-in goes from your 12 volt or your battery goes here, and then it has a USB plug right here to charge your phone. The reason I went this route with this is because I wanted a GPS again, but I didn't like any of the GPS mounts and stuff, and then I was like, oh man, how am I gonna charge it? I really don't want cords laying everywhere. So I was gonna get an external battery and put it in here. One of the big battery packs, you know, like 330,000, whatever they call it, millipower or whatever. And I was just gonna put it in here and run a cord out and then just buy a mount for a GPS. Well, then I found a GPS app that I could put on my phone, which it works just as good as a Garmin GPS all, so far anyway. So I thought, well, if I can just get a mount for my phone, and I looked at a bunch of them, Ryan Erlocker, I looked at your biker gripper, but this one, this one beat out. And I bought it from the Law Abiding Biker store. Lawabidingbiker.com slash store is where I bought this. They sell cereal products. I love the Law Abiding Biker podcast and stuff like that. So I went ahead and bought this from their store to give them a little bit back. So anyway, just like I said, just put it in there. Bow. 
That's all you gotta do. Phone's locked in. I went on a 45 minute ride after I installed this and it did not move, did not budge the phone. Back here is just a ball mount, just tightens up. I can't get that loose right now. And then there's the mount that holds it. Very cool guys, very, very cool. I highly recommend this product. Highly recommend it. So anyway, that's it for today. So like and subscribe to this channel. I haven't showed you the bike yet, have I? So this is 2016 Road King with a 103, 16 inch JPangers. hangers and all the chrome you could imagine. Not yet anyway, I'm still gonna do some other stuff too, but chrome front end, custom wheels, front and back, not just the front. I am gonna be in the market for some more pipes though, for di more pipes, different pipes. Air cleaner. I've got the, if I can even see it, I don't know. Screaming Eagle slip-ons right now. Used to have Reinhardt's on my old bike, and my old bike was built to the moon. Doesn't hold a candle to this 103 though. This 103 is bad. 107 was cool, but I rode them both, and the money thing kind of came into play. Chrome switch housing, Aluro grips, Aluro highway pegs, Aluro brake pad. I think they're Aluro. I'm probably going to be wrong. And both shifter pedals and floorboards and passenger floorboard. So anyway, like I was saying, like and subscribe to this channel, guys. I'll probably try to show you more in my next video. Hopefully, is going to be how much stuff my wife's going to try to pack in this bag and me getting mad about how much stuff she's going to try to bring. And then we'll weigh it and we'll see if it's copacetic or not. But sorry this video ran long, guys. Other than that, like and subscribe. I already said that. Like last video, I don't know how to end this stuff yet. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. See you all later on the road.